A two-week trial at this Virginia courthouse has brought a measure of justice to the families of Americans kidnapped and killed in Syria. A jury found British national Al-Shafi al-Sheikh guilty for his role in holding captive 26 Western hostages on behalf of the Islamic State group. Al-Sheikh was part of an IS cell known by their hostages as the Beatles because of their British accents. He was captured in 2018 along with Alexander Koti and both were brought to the United States in 2020 to stand trial. Koti pleaded guilty in 2021. On April 14, a jury found Al-Sheikh guilty on eight counts related to his role in the hostage taking and killing of American journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff and aid workers Peter Kasig and Kayla Mueller. Families of those hostages welcomed the court ruling saying that justice has prevailed. As the trial opened, Diane Foley, whose son James was kidnapped in 2012, underscored the importance of a fair trial. I think we must do the opposite of what was done. You know, that to me is the huge contrast. I mean, the British and the American um, hostages were given nothing. They were treated like animals, they were tortured, starved, um, they received no, even no bit of justice. So um, I think it's important that we show how civilized people should react to others. And that is why experts say this trial carried major significance. The U.S. hostage families have been vocal in their wishes for the individuals involved in the, um, the abduction and the killing of their children to be held accountable for their actions in a U.S. court of law. So this case really demonstrates how these families were at the forefront and how they've been persistently fighting for their children. Those involved in terror activity, including kidnappings and killings, rarely face trial in the country where their victims were from. For the U.S., I think for others outside of the U.S., it demonstrates the length to which the U.S. government and authorities will go to hold others accountable for the death of Americans outside of the United States, particularly in such uh, egregious circumstances. Al-Sheikh's trial opens the possibility for U.S. law enforcement agencies to pursue similar cases against foreign nationals responsible for crimes against U.S. citizens abroad, Rogan says. It also offers a path to the families of others impacted by terror activities overseas who want justice. This may very well prove to be a model for families and survivors in the future. They may choose to look at this case and be like, this is what we want. This is the justice that we want for our loved ones. For that to happen in the U.S. again, Foget says an effective multilateral cooperation with American allies and partners around the world must continue. Sirwan Kejo. VOA News, Washington.